Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Ultrix tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the formula tool and taking a close look at math functions and how we can use Ultrix to perform math and write calculations. We have a full listing of the uh, math functions here. We've pointed out a few of the uh, common ones that we uh, use quite a bit. Uh, we can't talk about math functions without operators, though. So we also have a list of the operators that you use to build your math functions. You'll notice that you can also put comments in. Um, and then looking down at the bottom right corner, you'll see that we um, are also highlighting the in clause. If you don't know about the in clause, it's very powerful, um, especially to use when filtering data um, used in a custom filter. So definitely check out the in clause if you don't know about it already. Excellent. Thanks, Blake. So we're going to take a look at the example canvas of the formula tool obviously found in our favorites bar, also in the blue preparation category, or we can search for it and check out the example canvas. All right, let's do some math. So going down to the bottom of the example canvas, we have two math problems to work through. First, bringing in a formula tool, we'll take a look at two of our numeric fields and perform some division to try to determine our spend per visit for each of our customer IDs. Hitting the drop down, we can choose to overwrite an existing column, but in this case, we want to create a new field or new column called average spend. By clicking on the X, which might remind you of algebra class back in high school, this provides our listing of variables. So there's two ways to see our list of variables. We can either start typing the name of the field or hitting the blue f of x to look at our operators. So here we plugged in spend divided by visits and then changing our data type from a string field into one of the numeric data types. Let's check out the fixed decimal which allows us to round the data to a certain number of decimal places. So in this case the scale will allow us to show two places after the decimal or the hundredths place, or rounding to the penny, if you will. So this is a very basic formula. We want to show off how we can do a complex formula, which involves some rounding. So here I'm going to move that little division problem down a few lines, and let's revisit our math function listing. And let's take a look at the round function. So it's going to round to the nearest multiple. So we have two parts to this function. So the x is the value that we want to round, and multiple is going to be uh, to what digit we want to round the value. So here I'm going to copy and paste our initial expression, and you see leaving a value of 1 at the end of the expression before the parenthesis will round each data point to the nearest dollar. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this formula tool, duplicate some logic, and see how we could do the same formula in two steps. So first let's start with our spend divided by visits once again. So in our first field reference, we are performing the initial division calculation. And then by hitting the blue plus icon, I can create a second expression and from the drop down select the exact same field. So now we have a two part formula and both parts are operating on the same field of average spend. So we love that the flexibility of Ultrix and different ways to do the same thing. And here you see as we change the multiple value, it changes the degree to which we're rounding our final results. But changing that value back to one, we'll get our average spend rounded to the nearest dollar once again. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.